trying to get the volume of sound effects, music and people talking to all mix together in a really nice sounding way can take ages. Luckily, the new DaVinci Resolve 20 feature called AI Audio Assistant is really, really amazing and is going to save so much time. Before we jump into the demo, it's just important to note that every audio track needs to only contain one type of audio. There's basically four types of audio elements. You've got dialogue, which is a fancy name for people talking. You've got music, sound effects, and ambience. And ambience is like the background noise of a computer beeping. You can have multiple clips on each audio track, but all of those clips need to be of the same type. I want to start off by showing you this timeline, and we're just focusing on the audio side of things. We've got two dialogue tracks, a captain and an officer. We've got three sound effects tracks, two ambience tracks, and this music track. Now, I haven't mixed any of this together yet, and if I play this back, it's going to sound absolutely terrible. Everything is way too loud. You can't hear the dialogue. You can't hear what's going on. Things are overloaded. This sounds terrible. I want to show you a version of this that I've mixed together a couple of months ago manually. You can see I've done a few things here. We've trimmed some of the audio to get rid of noises. We've lowered this part of this specific dialogue because it was too loud. And if I switch over to the Fairlight page, we've done a lot of work in Fairlight. We've added some compression, some EQ. We've even got these additional mix buses. So all of this took quite Quite a lot of time to do. Let me show you what this sounds like. Captain, we have positive lock. Pressures equalized. Ready to open the hatch on your command. Safety's off everyone. When we enter the ship, set up standard defensive posture. Opening in three, two, one. Go, go, go! No sign of movement, Captain. Looks like backup power's working at least. No sign of a firefight, no blood. So where is everyone? So we could tweak that a little bit more. The point is, this took a lot of time just to get to this point. Let me show you next the amazing AI audio assistant. This is going to save me so much time. We're going to modify this version where we didn't have any mixing performed and it sounded terrible. The first thing you really want to do is right click on your timeline, come down here and choose duplicate timeline before you use the AI audio assistant. With the timeline open and all of your tracks and clips set up, notice here that we're not mixing sound effects and music on the dialogue for these tracks. We're not adding music to the sound effects tracks and so on. And to access this amazing AI tool, come up to the timeline menu, come down to AI tools and choose audio assistant. But I'm not going to click on that just yet because I want to show you a bit of a secret trick. Come over to the Fairlight page and we're going to go and tell DaVinci Resolve what kind of things are on these tracks. This is going to help the AI audio assistant do a better job. So I'm going to right click on the track header for Captain, come down to track category and I'm going to choose dialogue because this is people talking. I'm going to do the same thing for this officer track, change the category to dialogue. You can do this for multiple tracks at the same time. Let's select all three sound effects tracks and change the category to sound effects or SFX for short. We've got a couple of ambience tracks here. We're going to change their category to ambience. And finally, this single music track, we're going to set that track category to music. Now, you don't actually have to do this. You can just run the AI audio assistant right off the bat. But doing this just gives a few hints to the AI about what kind of audio information is on different tracks and it hardly takes any time as you just saw. We'll head back to the edit page, come back to the timeline menu, AI tools and choose audio assistant. We need to select where we're going to be exporting and delivering this video to and there's all of these presets here like Netflix and Disney. I'm going to choose YouTube and then hit auto mix. When I click this you can see it's classifying the different types of music, it's working on mixing the dialogue. Next it's going to try and mix the music in. After it's done that it's going to try and mix in the sound effects and the ambience and at the end it's going to apply some final mastering and mixing techniques such as limiters. All right let's take a look at this AI mixed version. Captain we have positive lock. Pressure's equalized. Ready to open the hatch on your command. Safety's off everyone. When we enter the ship set up standard defensive posture. Opening in three, 
two, one. Go, go, go! No sign of movement, Captain. Looks like backup power's working at least. No sign of a firefight, no blood. So where is everyone? That is pretty amazing for just a few clicks and a few seconds of processing. Obviously this is not 100% perfect, but you could probably just use this as it is if you just wanted a quick edit, but you can now go back and tweak things just to get the exact mix that you want. I'll talk about some of the limitations in just a second, but let me show you how you can tweak a few of these things. At the end here, we've got a fade out. No blood. So where is everyone? I'll come back to that in a second because that's kind of to do with one of the limitations of this system. I personally don't think that these drone ambience sounds are quite loud enough. If I open up the mixer and expand this across, you can see that all of these faders have been changed. Everything's not too loud and overloaded now. And this is one of the things that the audio assistant does. But if we wanted to, we could increase the sound of these ambience tracks a little bit. That's one of the tweaks we could make just so we can hear it a bit more in the mix. We could go and reduce the sound of some of these parts of the dialogue if we wanted to make it really whispery. No sign of movement, Captain. So what about some of the limitations of this AI audio assistant? Let me show you a few of them. If we come over to this Captain track and I'm going to solo it, have a listen to this point here. Defensive posture. You can hear we've got that really nasty lip smacking sound. Have another listen. Set up standard defensive posture. So the AI audio assistant isn't gonna do these micro edits to clean up the dialogue. We can do that pretty quickly ourselves by holding down Alt and adding a few points to the clip's volume line and dragging that down. And we can try and get rid of that lip smack. Standard defensive posture. Before I get into some of the other limitations, I just wanted to point out some of the cool things the AI has actually done here. If I click on the music track header and then open up the inspector, scroll down here, you can see that the audio assistant has enabled the ducker and this is going to automatically reduce the sound of that music whenever the captain or the officer audio track has sound coming out of it. We could of course just enable this ourselves, but it's done it automatically for us and it's recognized that the captain and officer tracks are dialogue tracks and we're normally going to want to hear the dialogue over the music. Another thing it's done if I come over to the Fairlight page is you can see on this music track for the fader level, it's actually increasing the level of the music here, the value of the fader. That's why this fader is green because the fader is being automated over time. If I just scroll through this, watch the fader, it goes up there and then back down there. I didn't add this automation. This was added by the AI audio assistant, which is pretty cool. While we're on the Fairlight page, let's take a look at some of the other limitations. If we have a look at the captain and officer tracks, if I open up the EQ, the audio assistant hasn't really done much to the EQ for the people talking. All it's really done is rolled off some of the lower frequencies. Everyone has different characteristics to their voices and depending on the room they're in, depending on what microphone they're using, we can use EQ to really bring out the nice sounds in a person's voice and reduce some of the not not so nice sounds in a person's voice. The AI audio assistant hasn't really done any work on the dialogue for the different people talking. But of course we could go and use our own ears and our own skills to add that EQ into each of the dialogue tracks if we wanted to. Also, some bits are hard to understand exactly what's happening. Let me show you one of them. At the end of this edit, we have a little bit of a fade out. Have another listen. No sign of a firefight, no blood. So where is everyone? You can hear how the last bit of dialogue gets faded out and also the music and the sound effects or the ambience, I should say. But if we come down to bus one and expand that down, choose the fader level, there's no automation on the fader level. And this is one of the things you would normally automate to add a global fade out. And I found this confusing for a little bit, but after having a little peek around in here, I noticed that we've now got this audio assistant category in Fairlight Automation. And if I choose a, a level, you can see now, this is where that fade is coming from. And I'm sure Blackmagic will be updating their DaVinci Resolve reference manual for version 20. And I'm sure that will include all of these details about what the audio assistant is gonna do. And that will make things a lot 
clearer. So what do you think of this feature? Do you think that AI Audio Assistant did a pretty good job on that rough mix right from the start? I think it's pretty amazing myself. Let me know in the comments. I'm Jason Roberts. This is DaVinci Dojo. Subscribe now for more Resolve goodness and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.